Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my DIY puppy party prep with me. I am so excited for today's video guys because my first ever video on YouTube almost a year ago to the day was my daughter's first birthday party prep with me. She did a winter wonderland theme or it was a winter wonderland because it was her first birthday. Um, this year we did a puppy party for her because she is obsessed with dogs and I thought it would be the perfect little theme for her. So today we're gonna be doing so many things. We are gonna do some decor, some DIYs. I have some food ideas, the cake, all of it. So I really hope you enjoy today's video. I hope it gives you, you know, tons of inspiration. If you plan on doing your own puppy party birthday or maybe just any type of kid's birthday, I hope you get some inspiration from this, some motivation from it too. But if you do, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you're not already. First things first, I'm just kind of made this collage here with this um, window frame that I have up. I just kind of clipped some of her pictures on there. I can't believe how much bigger she's gotten in this last year. Um, but now we're moving on to baking the cake. I always have the kids help me bake their birthday cakes. We definitely use the box because you have to cut some corners, otherwise it's kind of hard to do everything you want to do. So to make it easy, we always use boxed cake and I just have them help me bake it and they absolutely love it. As you can see, they're really excited about it. Uh -huh. yeah. are going to be working on some decorations now it is the night before the party and my husband is helping me we are working on the balloon arch that we're doing for this party um, I prefer to do this the night before because it is it does take some time and I would just be way too stressed out doing it the day of and the kids would probably not let us do it let's be honest there would be running around crazy stealing all the balloons popping the balloons you know so <laughs> I recommend you doing this the night before if you're gonna do like a balloon arch or balloon garland or whatever you want to call it but right now we are just hanging out watching some TV while we blow up a ton of balloons I got this balloon kit um, off of Etsy. You can get balloon kits pretty much anywhere, I think. Like Etsy, Amazon, I'm pretty sure they have some at Target and Walmart maybe, I'm not quite sure. But basically this kit came with all of the color balloons that I wanted. Um, I picked them out based on her shop and she even sent like all of the tools you need to make it. So like, um, like a hand pump, which was really nice for the smaller balloons that I, I use that for. I have this little uh, machine that I use for the bigger balloons. And then she included like the command strips and the string also to be able to hang the balloon 
arch that was also super nice and she even had like this little card for instructions on how to put it together so i absolutely loved this i will make sure to include the link down below for where i got my kit from but like i said you can really get it anywhere and you can get all the supplies anywhere too but i loved these colors i kind of went with like pink blue purple gold theme i just wanted it to be bright and colorful and i think we accomplished that but we're gonna keep blowing up these balloons and then we'll get to putting it all together Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now Your exquisite kiss still burning Didn't know I missed this passion in life Now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting Irresistible when I look through your eyes Not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied Stayed over the surface Now I just can't get So like I said, with this kit, all of the supplies came with it, but if you're just going to do your own thing, um, I definitely recommend like searching on Amazon for balloon arch tape or something. I'll find what I'm talking about in Amazon and I'll just link it down below for you guys, but it's basically like this strip of plastic with a bunch of holes in it and you just push um, the knot of the balloon through the hole and it sticks. And you just do that throughout the whole tape and then you hang it up and it's actually fairly simple. It just takes a little bit of work sometimes to squeeze in the bigger balloons, but, and it is kind of lengthy, like I said, to go throughout all of them. So make sure you definitely do it ahead of time. But I love these things. I think they make such a statement and they're such an affordable way to like, you know, make your decor pop, kind of bring home your color scheme or bring home whatever theme that you're doing. I just feel like I'm going to be doing this for every party because I just always love the way it turns out. I did another one on my son's birthday party. He had this last fall, he did a bluey themed birthday. Um, and so we used those colors for that. I'll link that video down below too, if you want to check that out. But it's so much fun. You can be creative as you want, use neutral colors. I've seen people do like ombre colors. So like white, like a pale pink, a little darker pink, and then dark pink, you know, like make it like that or you can mix all the colors up you can just really set your creative mind out there and kind of do whatever you think will look good so they're really fun and definitely make a statement
So now that the balloon garland is all put together, I'm just kind of clearing the area here because this is where I like to do my big decorations. It's kind of a nice flat wall. And so I'm just kind of removing all of the decor here and we're gonna hang this backdrop up that I got from Amazon. Another affordable, cute way to decorate. I had one for my son's birthday. I found one for her birthday and they are actually good for more than one use. Like they're like a thick canvas type material. It was much bigger than I thought it would be. So it's a lot bigger than my balloon garland I made, but we made it work. We just kind of hung it off to the side and it just added that extra flair to the little backdrop. But we're just gonna keep hanging those things up now. So um, I saw a couple of cute ideas on Pinterest that I wanted to do and totally unnecessary but I thought it would kind of help bring along the theme through the food. So all of the food has like a name that kind of goes along with dogs or puppies you know um, because this is a puppy party so and totally got most of these ideas off of Pinterest but like we're having a hot dog bar. So I saw someone do like different types of dogs and then ingredients to like how you make that dog. So like a chihuahua, you put in um, jalapeno peppers and pico de gallo and on your hot dog and that makes a chihuahua dog. I'm not doing that one because I didn't think too many people that came to the party would want to eat that, but there was a bunch more. So I wanted to make like a little menu guide here for people. Um, to give them ideas on how they can make their hot dogs. Obviously, they can do whatever they want to, but I thought it would be super cute. Um, I got this at the dollar spot for only $3. Um, they had another one that was really cute, like a house shape, with, and it was white, um, but I felt like it was too small to write everything on, so I got this one. And then I just picked up some paint pens and I'm gonna write it on and we'll see how good I do. I'm not like a, I don't do like calligraphy or anything and I'm not very great at DIYs. I'm actually not a DIYer, but I thought these ideas were cute so I wanted to do them. Um, and I also, next to all of the food, I kinda wanted to put a little label and it's not like I'm making any like food that needs to be explained, but I just wanna like have the cute name by it because, I don't know, I think it's cute. So like, um, next to the potato salad, it'll say paw potato salad, like paw, or, um, I can't think of any, <laughs> or paw potato chips, or I don't know. So I wanted to make little labels next to the food just to kind of bring home the theme. Um, and I just picked up, like you could do this in so many ways, but I just picked up like a card um, poster board I'm just gonna cut it and make like little tents and then write it on there and it's gonna be super cheap and easy and cute and yeah so let's see how good we do I'm gonna look at this Pinterest for the different recipes they came up with to help me out but pray that this is at least legible and we'll see how it goes to the car on a Friday night I wanna drive with you Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't ever play it and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours And you take it And you make me 
like I said, guys, I am not a DIYer. I don't even try to be because I'm the type of person that will just pay for convenience. <laughs> I'll admit it. Um, you won't see me getting a Cricut anytime soon, although I love everything people make from those things. It's just, just not who I am at this point in time. But So I was extremely surprised at how well this little project work out for, worked out for me. It wasn't anything fancy, I know, but for me, it was a little bit out of the box, and I'm glad it turned out. These paint pens were excellent. They came on so well onto this wood and even onto the poster board that I got. There was like no bleeding at all and it was really like saturated and easy to read. And yeah, I'll link those down below too in case you want them. I can't, I think they were like Sharpie brand, um, but I really, I really loved them and it was such a fun idea. Everybody liked it at the party. Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue And you're taking me out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i i will stand by you forever i can't get you out of my So I'm back to doing a little bit of decorating. What I've realized with throwing these kids birthday parties is that you just got to do a little bit at a time and do it when you can. I always like to do like my cleaning the first half of the week. That way I can really focus on decorations and food preparation that I need to do right before the party. Um, and then I have time to do all of this fun stuff. I used to wait like till the very end to even do my cleaning and then it was a nightmare. So take your time. Like I said, I started the day before. I did a few things that I could do, especially the big stuff like baking the cakes, did this balloon garland. Um, that way the cakes were nice and cooled down for me today so I could decorate them and then I just could add all of the smaller decorations just to kind of um, add a little bit extra but definitely don't try and do it all in one day especially if you have kids running around while you're trying to do it because we all know how that works out but it is nap time so I'm trying to get as much done as possible right now and it didn't last long <laughs> but I have a little helper he's gonna help me blow up some more of these balloons I love the le letter balloons because then you can say whatever you want that kind of goes with your theme I got this one it says let's potty and I had a little bone with it so it was super cute we're just gonna hang this up too just to add a little something into the dining room I will stand by you forever And I won't waste it
In a minute here, you're going to see the chaos that is my home while I'm trying to get all of this done. But I just wanted to mention that if you want to throw a nice birthday for your kids, you don't need to have a ton of decorations. You don't need a really fancy cake or anything like that. Your kids are going to be excited for whatever you're able to do. And that is okay. Like, I, if I could give any type of advice about what I really recommend you do with your kid, it's just like bake their cake with them. Like that is a simple little memory that we make every year, every birthday. My kids help me bake their cake for their birthdays and they love it. They're so excited. They can say that they helped to bake their cake and that's a memory that we're going to have forever. You know, that's probably the thing that's going to take they're going to take on for years and years to come. It's not It's not going to be all of the balloons I put up or anything like that. Um, all of the extra stuff really just brings me a lot of joy. It does bring me joy to see them excited to see all the balloons up. And yeah, but like I said, you definitely don't need to be this extra and have this many stuff up to have a wonderful birthday for your kids. That is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> on the cake now the kids are down for a nap they're not necessarily sleeping yet but they're kind of out of my hair um, so I have my cake layers out I used these little paper things to separate the two layers while I was storing them overnight just so that I don't know they didn't stick together or wreck each other um, but this is the uglier of the two so he's gonna go on the bottom and then I'll put that one on once I frost the top of this, but I just picked out these fun colors. I felt like they went a little bit kind of with the color scheme that we've got going on today. And I just wanted it to be bright and fun and colorful and just kind of as you can see how the rest of the decor is going so far, just she's just a bright and fun little like sunshine of a girl and so this is fits her to a T in my opinion um, but I picked up some like decorating bags and little tips because I don't quite know what I'm doing yet but I'm gonna frost it all I don't know I'm not quite sure which colors yet but I kind of want to like on the top layer do something around the rim um, mm -hmm. just to make it a little bit fancier and then I've got some toppers that are the cutest little toppers ever. I got them on Etsy. I'm going to wait a little closer to the party till I put those in, but um, I'll show you that obviously, but let's just get to frosting the cake first. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down Deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide So I am definitely a newbie to cake decorating. I left in everything in this video to show you guys the real life of it all. Like, first off, I put all of the frosting into the little decorating bags without even putting the tip in first. So that's a that's a big newbie error. So if you're like me and don't know this, <laughs> you're supposed to cut the tip from the bag then put in like the plastic tip that you buy and then put the frosting in. 
Also, I recommend not putting the whole jar of frosting in there at a time because it will spill out the top. That's another error that I made and had to deal with. But you know what? It ended up turning out fine. I just had to kind of go with the flow. I didn't really know what I wanted to do anyways. I just knew I liked these colors together and I kind of wanted to mash them up. But as you can see, I just kind of used a knife eventually and got over the, the bags and kind of tossed that idea. I just had to go with it and it turned out fine. But like I said, your kids are gonna love it no matter what, so it doesn't need to be perfect. But you can see me struggling here for a little bit longer. And you can tell me all of your lies I will put out all of the fire If it gets too dark oh, oh, I'll be So I didn't like how the pink and blue was looking. It just like something about that pink and that blue that really screamed like a Barbie cake to me. And that wasn't the vibe I was going for. So I just put a bunch of purple frosting on top of it and just kind of mixed it all together. So it's just like a little tint of pink and blue but mainly purple. I think it looks much better than it was looking. <laughs> We struggled for this cake, definitely, but you know, we're just doing the best we can. It looks just fine, and I'm really more excited about the little toppers we're going to put on later, but I need to kind of clean up this mess and take care of some other things first. Let's drink up your death, look like big fun, come on, let's get it on, like that orphan gay song, I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something. I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe And we are blowing up the last of the balloons that I had. I got these like walking dog balloons, which I'm pretty sure you needed helium for them to really work. I didn't I didn't look too much into it, but I wasn't going to go and get them blown up at the store so I just blew them up myself and ended up using them <clears throat> to like sit in places and be hung up as opposed to the kids walking them around um, and it worked out just fine so if you don't have helium you can certainly use it the way that I used it as well um, but once we're done with this final decorations we are going to prepare our hot dogs so like I said, we are doing a hot dog bar and an easy way to cook the hot dogs in the winter was just to throw all of them in the crock pot. It worked out so well. I didn't have to cook them and they stayed warm and it was easy to make for a ton of people at once. So I really liked how that worked out. So I got all of these cake toppers from Etsy. I love them so much. I probably got more dogs than I needed to for this small cake, but I couldn't help myself. They were so stinking cute. They had little tutus on, little balloons hanging off their tails, 
party hats. They are adorable. I'm going to keep them and put them on a little shelf in my daughter's room. They're definitely not for playing. They're a little bit more fragile, but oh my God, I am obsessed with these little things so much. And they just kind of, they, they made the cake for sure. They made the cake. I absolutely love these. Last thing I wanted to take care of before the guests arrived was my Char Chu to reboard. Another little punny name. I actually came up with that one. I'm very proud of myself in the school pickup line. Um, but I got this board from a Pinterest. I just kind of Pinterest um, Aldi charcuterie board. And so I'm doing most of the things that they, you know, recommended from that Pinterest post on this board. They have so many great um, cheeses and meats at Aldi. And so I got a ton of things from there and I picked up a couple of different things that they didn't have on there. Just what I thought people would like um, that were attending the party. But basically, I'm just kind of placing the meats and cheeses and all of the other things um, just around the board as I so please or however I think it looks good. Just kind of putting like one type of meat over here, another type of meat over here, and then same with the cheeses. And I had some cashews on here and dried apricots, some chocolate, crackers, obviously, some stuffed olives, a ton of goodies. And I had little cups on there too to hold some of the things like the cashews and the olives. And Aldi had um, these set of four mini cutting boards on sale when I went there last. And so I used that to kind of add a little depth to the board. And I just thought it looked so pretty. I think it's fun to kind of put these together. You can be creative and make it look however you like and just kind of change it up too with what your guests like. But it looked really good and people loved it. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? And here are some final shots of how everything turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you a ton of inspiration for your kid's birthday. If it did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away.